we provide you one video where you can see the simulated Odin and the real one Odin in uh, comparison. On the upper part, you see the real Odin. We drove around with it in our research hole and we recorded the comments. Since both models are commanded via ROS, they have the same interfaces. And if we now replay the comments we gave to the real Odin, the simulated Odin should behave like the real one. And yeah, we even simulated our research hole and I think the result is quite good. So we can accelerate and drive with high dynamics on both the real world and simulation. The holonomic movement is working fine and even rotating works good too. But what does this mean to our robotics development? It's a huge advantage because I even mentioned before that if you have the phase of construction and design and automation evaluation, you have a problem with blocking developments. So if the hardware is not working correctly, the software team cannot evaluate its software solutions. And if the software team is doing not so nice with its software solution, it, for example, breaks Odin and then the hardware team needs to put additional effort again. If you have such a great uh, simulation model like we have of Odin, we can paralyze the work. The software team can use the simulated Odin to develop nice autonomous solutions and it behaves like the real Odin. We can even put the simulated Odin in other environments like a factory or we can do even an automated test scenario. So for example, we create a fixed test scenario in Isaac Vim and we play it 100 times and check if the autonomous solution we developed in software works not only one time, but 100 times. Like we use, if we need for the final product, product even if Odin tries to go into production. 